Hey everybody, Drone Tech here. I uh, was just listening to the radio and I had to pull over and do another one of these car rant videos. It's not something I normally do, but I just feel like I, I'm able to rant better for some reason in here than in front of my camera. So yesterday we had one day of what were really rowdy protests. Okay, let's call them what they are. I mean, I'm not quite ready to call it a riot. It was a pretty rowdy protest. And I, I'm not going to sit here and say that I agree with what everything that happened uh, yesterday, the damage to public property, and some of the stuff that was done, I don't agree with. And I think that some of those people should be arrested. Uh, just like I said that I think that BLM and Antifa should be arrested. So I'm being consistent on that. Uh, but if you look at it, mostly, most of those people were peaceful. Um, if, if you go back and you look at video of the protests, there were lots of people marching. There were a lot of people standing outside. Uh, it, it was not most of the people that were uh, acting violent. And when I say violent, they weren't, they were unarmed. They weren't using weapons. Uh, they were pushing and shoving. I mean, it was that level of violence, uh, stuff that's pretty boilerplate, pretty bread and butter for the left. I mean, they, uh, uh, the left fighting with cops during a protest. I mean, that's just what happens. Uh, and so this is one time, I mean, I can't think of another time where people on the right have gotten into an altercation with the police. It just doesn't happen. So this is the one time. And the one time it happens, suddenly you got my local AM radio calling these people rioters. For the last six months, we've seen you know, nonstop riots from the left. Uh, whether they started out peaceful protests and then turned into that or not, that's what happened every time. Whether it be uh, Portland and Seattle or whether it be in California or New York, um, we've seen it over and over and over again. And what has the media done every time? They've called those protests mostly peaceful. They've done everything they can to to run cover for those groups and, and, and do PR for them so that they uh, weren't doing the Democrat Party any harm. To the point where where Chris Cuomo actually got on one time and said that protests aren't supposed to be peaceful. They're not supposed to be polite and peaceful, he said. And please, show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. So that's the, that's the levels that the media will go to run cover for left-wing extremist uh, riots. But when it comes to this one day of what was a pretty rowdy protest, I mean, you can maybe call it a riot, but there were no burned down buildings. There was minor uh, destruction of public property is what happened. But there were no burned down buildings or businesses. Uh, there was nobody attacked, uh, innocent people. However, there was one unarmed white, uh, late, uh, white female that was killed by police. I can't think of any time where police shot and killed a BLM or Antifa protester. But I get on Twitter today, and instantly I'm seeing people everywhere, especially on CNN, Jake Tapper and Brian Stelter in particular, calling uh, these people from yesterday terrorists, calling them uh, domestic terrorists, calling them traitors. I mean, the language that the media is using, that's that's uh, fight talk. That's This is the kind of thing that's just going to whip this country up into a frenzy. And another thing that I've noticed is that when it comes to this uh, uh, white lady that was shot, this unarmed white female veteran, by the way, she was an Air Force veteran who did, I think, four tours in Iraq. She was killed, shot. Well, she was climbing through a window and she was shot. Now, I've seen much worse going on during Antifa and BLM protests. Nobody was shot. Another thing that I'm seeing a lot on Twitter and even on my local radio here, my local AM radio news station, they keep posing this question. Oh, why is it so, why were they handled so differently from the BLM protesters? And it's, it's just like they throw that question out there. Uh, implying that, oh, well, the police were heavy handed with the BLM protesters because they're black. And these uh, other protesters, these right wing protesters, well, the, the police were very uh, easy with them because they're white and it's white privilege. OK, well, first of all, it's not that cut and dry. For one, the BLM and Antifa protests had been violent for the previous month. So the people in D.C., uh, when these protests showed up, were expecting violence. So that's why. They, they were prepared for it. Also, these people were attacking the White House. They had tried to burn down uh, the church there uh, in front of the White House. And yet, that's no big deal. The big deal at the time, if you remember, was that uh, riot police came out and shot tear gas at them. That was the problem. And in the case of the, uh, the right-wing protests, if you want to call it that, yesterday, the unarmed lady was shot and killed. That's pretty heavy-handed, if you ask me. 
she was unarmed. She wasn't presenting any kind of a threat. And yet her life was taken. And another thing about the supposed double standards in law enforcement uh, and how they're used against these protests. If you remember, the uh, mayor of D.C. Uh, was very angry about the use of uh, National Guard troops against these violent BLM rioters who, again, were try literally trying to break into the White House at the time. Yet when it came to these people on the right, these uh, pro-Trump people, she was all too eager to use the National Guard. But you see, the media and none of these people will ever talk about those double standards. It's just amazing to me that they, they throw out these questions about double standards, and yet they don't see at all how hypocritical that they're being. That they're not even proving that there's hypocr hypocrisy on our side. They're proving that it's on their side. Another point on that is that if you look at these BLM protests, especially those ones that were in D.C., it's like mostly white people. The media puts out this idea that like BLM is this big, mostly black organization. I guess the organization is. But if you go and you look at the protest, it's like uh, a bunch of white kids. The media is just gaslighting more intensely than I've ever seen. It's like they're seizing on what they see as an opportunity. And I really wonder if this whole thing wasn't just like a big trap. There's no way that uh, a right-wing protest can go out and have altercations with police and come out looking good. That's just never gonna happen. Why? Because the left controls the media. They control all the institutions at this point. And so anything that we do uh, is gonna be painted a as bad or negative. We're gonna be demonized as racist and domestic terrorists. I mean, this is all part of them squashing their political opposition for good. Just look at the Tea Party. The Tea Party was peaceful. They cleaned up after themselves. Uh, the only time you had any issue with the Tea Party might, might have been one fringe outlier. One person did something, but then the media would take that person and blow it up. There was no mostly peaceful. There was most, you know, there was actually mostly peaceful, and then they would find one person and they would tar the entire organization with that person. On the streets, there was anger. The riot police were called in to try to control demonstrators protesting outside the Capitol. Most were peaceful. A handful threw bottles at police and were arrested. And outside, protesters against the plan gathered on the streets of the Capitol where late today we learned words shouted turned very ugly. Reports of racial and homophobic slurs. One protester actually spitting on a congressman. Late word from Washington tonight about just how ugly the crowds gathered outside the Longworth office building have become. We learned that as Congressman Emanuel Cleaver of Missouri was leaving his office, someone in the crowd spit on him. I mean, you might remember when they claimed that Tea Party people spit on a black senator and called him the n-word and of course there were cameras and and microphones everywhere in that area nobody captured that but that didn't stop them i mean the media anytime there was a shooting or anything back then the media would leap at the chance to try and connect it to the tea party so much in fact that several journalists journalists lost their jobs at the time they're probably working again now but at the time they lost their jobs because they instantly blamed tea party people and turned out to be wrong it's just like uh, the Sandman thing. The media is always looking for their uh, uh, biases to be confirmed and to confirm it to their audiences. You even had people on Twitter all day saying that these people should be shot. I, I, I'm baffled by this. If a black person is shot by a police officer, the media and, it, and everybody instantly calls that a racist shooting without knowing any of the details. And even then when they do know the details, it's like it doesn't matter. It's just that a police officer shot a black person. But then an unarmed person uh, gets shot by the police in D.C., uh, but because they're on the right, everybody's saying, oh, well, yeah, she should have been shot. Oh, yeah, sure. She should have been shot. Uh, sh her beliefs were crazy. I mean, you see that everywhere. People on the left and in the media, blue check marks, saying that these people should be shot. There was a police officer caught on C-SPAN who was asking, why can't we just shoot these people? You have pictures, and I tweeted this out, of D.C. literally burning, the Capitol burning, smoke rising up. And yet the media call that mostly peaceful. And when you confront them with this, what they'll tell you is, oh, well, those protesters were seeking racial justice. They were seeking justice. And so that makes it okay. Well, the problem is, first of all, that's debatable. 
They're not really for justice. They just want what they want. And if they don't get what they want, they call that injustice or racial injustice. Look at the Jacob Blake shooting. Those cops got no charges because it turns out Jacob Blake had a weapon and had attacked police with it. Yet the media, the Democrats and the left would all tell you that the protests and the riots that happened after that were all justified. All you really got to know is that it's different when Democrats do it. That's all for this one, folks. Please hit that like button, share and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.